is not that kind of channel. Don't nobody want to be doing jumping jacks and your front to doing jumping jacks with you. Who get up, girl? Something need to be done immediately. It's now or never. I promise you, you can do it. Somebody in the science class told me that one time. You gotta tell them, don't tell them, don't. Tell them. Ah. week blessed day blessed month and it is a new year so happy new year <laughs> yeah so i just got up today is january 2nd i rested yesterday kind of straightened up a little bit kind of got my plan ready for today i purchased jenna de Leon's on instagram workout app so it has different challenges and different things you can do during the year. Her body is crazy. She had a sale on Black Friday. It was like $77 for the full year or something like that. And I was like, okay. I don't know. I didn't think about it. I just did it. Like my impulse was like, do it. And at first I was like, you be doing stuff like this all the time. Why'd you do that? What I'm trying to do is be more intentional with the things that I do, things that I say, everything around me. So I went back on the app to try to say, okay, well, if you're gonna work out, let's get the workouts or plan them out in advance so that when it's time to say I'm about to go work out, we looking stupid in the face because we don't know what we about to do. And then you get to be all frustrated and flustered and now you're like, well, I could just start it tomorrow. We're not starting nothing tomorrow. We're doing it today. I think what it was was when I was in school, even though I hated structure, like, I would always wait to the last minute to do my projects, and they always got done perfectly. So, I was like, what? What if it ain't broke? Don't fix it. And trust me, I ain't fixed it, and now I see why I have struggled. Because think about it. School gives you the structure. Your teacher tells you when it's due. Whether you want to do it the night before, the same day, they tell you when it's due. So, somewhere in your head, you're like, okay, I can mess around, but this is due on Friday. Yes, it'd be proactive to do it, you know, gradually or don't wait till Friday to do it. But as long as you got it done by Friday, you completed that task. In your everyday life, you don't normally have deadlines unless you create them for yourself. Outside of your job, you probably do all that deadline stuff at work. But then when it's time for you to come off, you're more relaxed and you have no schedule. And I find that to be one of my issues in life. So in the past, I've used planners and sometimes I wasted my money because I really didn't use them. And sometimes when I actually did effectively use them, my life ran smooth. Even if I had a hundred things on my plate, as long as I put them on paper and I was able to see what I was going to do and how I was going to work it out, I couldn't fail. I love the big happy planners. Um, and I got a different one this time. I didn't open it yet, so we'll open it together. I gotta get my robe together because I don't want to have a Jenny Jackson moment because y'all not going to pay me. Y'all not going to pay me and this is not that kind of channel. This is not that kind of channel. All right, so this is the Big Happy Planner. So we'll open it because we'll see it together for the first time. I'm so excited. This one is an hourly planner. I got so many things and goals and stuff that I want to do. I want to be more consistent on YouTube. So I need to be able to plan out my life effectively. And this is going to help me do it. Okay, it's thick, like me. I like that. Um, it's very professional looking. All the ones that I used to get was all bright and big colored and everything like that. And I love that. Don't get me wrong. I love me a big, bright, colored you know, thing. And I'm just trying to be more elegante. We love elegante things. This is what it looks like. It's so cute. It's so chic. I'm going to show y'all some of the pages in it. It says work and life happy planner. So that's what it looks like. Um, I love big happy planner be or just happy planner. They send a lot of little motivational quotes inside of the month. And I like to look at what is speaking to me. So that I could get it. This one's a little different. Like I said, this one is a little bit more business oriented. So it has like 
They have like your um, logins, your passwords. I truly wouldn't recommend putting this in there because anything could happen. And the last thing you need to have is your, your email addresses and the passwords in a book. It have the like the months and then like days. I guess you could preview like real quick anything that's really important on those days that you need to do. The first uh, month is January, of course, and it says focus, do less with more. And then this is what it looks like. You have the full calendar, the full calendar. I'm not even monetized, so I'm not I even know why I'm finna act like this is sponsored. <laughs> What? But we speaking that into existence because before you know it, this channel finna grow. Then it has like January goals. You can put your January goals. You can put um, focus on your to-do list, important dates for the month of January, any notes that you need to like say hold up, you know, any important notes, you put that right there. And then they have little helpful tips. See, I love, this is the little things that I love about this. See, look at the helpful tip. It says, capitalize on the chance to multitask. And then this is what the calendar is going to look like. So, oh, I don't know if I like this. You know what? It's for a reason. So, it, it's not like a 24-hour, which you could probably put it in the notes or in the other little sections on the days. So the hours are from 5.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. So I thought it would have been 24 hours, but I can kind of see why it wouldn't be. And I also do use my phone as well. I just, you know, I like to visually see it. I have to write it down. See, this one, it says, find your purpose and motivation will follow. So that's February. Never forget how widely capable you are. Ooh, yeah. Goal, plan, repeat, it's now or never. I'm gonna start writing in my planner. So I did schedule a workout for today at 1.30. It's probably about 12.45 right now. I need to go at least try to eat something. I'm gonna just make some quick little, maybe two scrambled eggs because when I used to work out like maybe three, four years ago, I used to not eat and that was, it didn't give me energy. I used to feel sick. So I don't want to do that. Even though you don't, you shouldn't eat no big meal. You should eat, have something in your stomach. So I'm just going to like, you know, scramble two eggs, try to digest that. And then we're going to work out. Okay.
10 more, come on. Come on, girl, 10. 10. You got this. You got this. You can do it. You can do it, bro. I promise you, you can do it. Get out your head. Get out your head, dude. of the National YouTube Association of the World. Listen, last time you seen me, I was over here struggling with that workout. I almost didn't make it. I'm gonna run a couple of errands real quick. I need to go take some stuff back and, um, well, exchange some stuff. And yeah, I'm gonna go right back home because, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> How are they gonna ever know? How are they gonna ever know? Yeah, I gotta go take my hair out. It's been itching the hell out of me. I'm I'm gonna let y'all know right now. I don't know how y'all girls do with the wigs, with the front tools, with the any of it. Listen, I'm going right back to them braids because this is not in my ministry. What? What is going on? Thank God I still got my edges. I'm I'm just gonna take my hair out because honestly, working out with a front tool, you always gotta keep that little band on. It's unrealistic and it's uncomfortable. Let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about the things. Let's talk about the things because the girls are not talking about the things. Don't nobody want to be doing jumping jacks and your and, and your frontal doing jumping jacks with you. I don't want to do that. That's not for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out. I'm going to do my natural hair. And I'm just going to bring back my curls because I got hair. It ain't like you grow up bald headed for real. I'm just going to work with God gave me. You feel me? Because this ain't it. This is not it. Ooh. I've been trying to get down to the scalp and it's not been. Ooh. It, I've been having a time. Thank God I got these nails off. But because they're a little so fragile, it's kind of hard trying to get down to the scalp. And speaking of nails, I miss my nails so much. I miss them so much. Like, your girl out here just naked in the fingers. And... <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, I am taking a break. I am taking a break. And that little nail still on. Look. Still on. Still on. Look. Hold on. Do I got to do this? That's what the YouTube girlies be doing. No, the crack right there. You see the crack? Yeah. Miss Ma'am. Yeah, Miss Ma'am did that to my finger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, child. Today would be um my fourth day for the week doing my workout. And I'm not going to lie, yesterday was a little hard because my body was so sore. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I didn't think it was really working because I don't have a trainer. So, I'm like, okay, um, you know, I'm just doing it. But I didn't think, you know, my body was going to be really sore. I don't know what I came in there thinking. I'm thinking, okay, you just doing this just to do it. Girl, that stuff work. I've been out here walking, bold legging and paratoed. I'm talking about. Anybody would see me walking outside in the street would have thought I've been doing something nasty. I don't know how some people be like that pain feel good. It don't. I couldn't sit on. I, I was dreading to sit on the toilet. I'm like, yo. And then because I'm drinking more water, it's like I have to use the bathroom more frequently. And every time I have to, I'm trying to hold it because I'm like, Lord, I got to I gotta squat down to sit on the toilet. Lord. Mm -mm. But I did get the workout done yesterday. And I felt better like. I had a couple of goals that I had for the week and I aced one of them. And once I complete this workout for today, I would have completed four workouts for the week. And I'm just excited for myself because 
this this is personal this is for me so i'm just glad that i'm keeping my promises to myself and you know i can't wait to see what the results are gonna look like because you know i know what my body could look like girl i know let me get back to my body that i used to have back when i was down to the high school girl y'all ain't gonna know what to do with me y'all ain't gonna be able to talk to me in public because i'm telling y'all right now Girl, let me get these little, this kangaroo pouch and this little love handle off my body real quick and see what happened. Okay, let's go. Let's go, y'all, because y'all talking too much. Come on now. God could create, and I'm reminded every time I see your face Here has a Ulta in it, and y'all remember how um Cat Von D used to have Lolita, and it was like the number one thing back in 2014, 15. Everybody had on Lolita, so it's called like Queen something now, and it's still cute. I feel like they changed the chemistry a little bit, or the color is a little darker. I'm trying to find a good leave-in conditioner. And they have um, Tracy Ellis Ross's products in here too. Shampoo, hydrating shampoo, pearl gel. But I don't see anything with a leave-in conditioner, so I don't know. It's crazy because these um, facial cleansing wipes are $19. And during like the Christmas holiday, I got them for $11 at Ulta. They had like a deal. Yeah. I love seeing stuff where you pay one amount and then you come back and it really was a deal. <laughs> so I heard really good things about Taraji's line of things. But she don't have like a leave-in conditioner. So yeah, there's that. And I had bought the um, sugar scrub to this which you see is non-existent because it's supposed to be something exclusive for just Target alone. And I had used it yesterday and it smells so freaking good. So I'm trying to get this the last um, whipped shea butter. So I'm going to get this. I wish they had the body wash for it because it really truly does smell good. I do need some more um, Epsom salt because your girl, <laughs> your girl pretty much dumped almost the whole bag in... The tub the other day when I was sore because Lord knows that I needed it so I probably need to get a cup um some more so that you know I can relieve some of my stress and my pain and my muscles because your girl was your girl was down bad this is wellness therapy helps ease aches soreness from muscle pains well, all of them say that I'm gonna get this though this might be on to something Let's see what Dr. Teal's got on the phone. I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get this one. This is so sexy looking. Ooh, whoa, look at that. That's cute. That's one thing. I love me a Target bra. What size is this one? Well, that's an extra small. Ain't nobody fitting in that. That's a medium. I gotta find these bras. Target. I'm going to Sam's real quick. I was going to say this. You know, like, I think what really made me want to start my little workout journey was not only did I did the class with Royal G and it felt good and I wanted to continue to be um, active because I just felt like I was so out of place, out of shape, out of breath, out of everything. So I want to I wanna work on that. I'm not too young and I'm not too old. So it's like, you know what? This is the perfect time to kind of get back into a good routine. But also one of the things that kind of made me realize that I needed to like make a change. I was just eating out a lot. Whether it's fast food, fine dining, I was eating out a lot. And I was tired of it. I love food. But like it came to a point where when somebody was just like, oh, you want to go out to eat? I was like, nah. Like I'm like there was nothing outside that I wanted to eat. I've ate everything. I didn't want to see another Chick-fil-A. 
I didn't want to see KFC because you know Deion Sanders had them little chicken wings and them thighs was good. Oh, them chicken wings was good. Y'all had them little spicy chicken wings that Deion Sanders, Deion Sanders, Sanders, Deion Sanders was over here promoting. Them things was good. And I ain't gonna lie to you. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I like the I like the mac and cheese from KFC. I don't know. I'm one of them people that like mac and cheese, and I be trying to get it from everywhere and be disappointed every time. All mac and cheese are not created equal, especially at Chick Fil A. Every, they make it different at every Chick-fil-A I've been to. I ain't never been to a Chick-fil-A that was consistent with their mac and cheese. I'm trying to be very mindful of the stuff that I eat because I have to really look at the ingredients on the back. Sugar is the devil. I, what is azúcar? Y'all know I speak Spanish sometimes. Azúcar. Anything that say added sugar, whether it's added sugar, came naturally sugared, it's not good. It breaks down into the glucose. It, you know, it, isn't that it just glucose? Sugar is glucose. Either way, the glucose is in the body and it turned out in the fat and it's stored somewhere in the body. Somebody in the science class told me that one time. All I know is sugar is the devil. So I'm trying to go find me like a sparkling water or something, you know, that make me feel like I'm drinking a soda, but I'm not drinking a soda. So even though that acidity in that sparkling water ain't that good too. Either way, it ain't good. Like, that's the best way to lose weight. If you cut out sugars, you're going to be out here. You're going to be down to the skinny in no time. And I'm trying to be down to the skinny. I just want to look good in my clothes. That's the whole play. That's the whole purpose of me losing weight. I have so much clothes, and I love to dress up. But when my body out here looking like I'm akin to Respucia, I don't want to put on nothing. I can't fit nothing and one thing I'm not finna do is go buy nothing bigger. What I look like dressing this body up. Gotta lose me some weight. So yeah, I really don't need to be going out anywhere else with this with this hair looking like this. I don't like being outside in the heat. And people may say, well, why do you live in Florida? Girl, I've been trying to get out of here. I've been trying to leave out of the Floridas for a long time. I've been trying. Like, it say it's 79 degrees, and it feel like 103. It's hot as hell. Maybe because I got this little jacket on, but it's not even like a thick jacket. Let's be for real. Just hot for no reason. It's in the middle of January. Places is snowing, and you over here telling me this heat. We couldn't even get a little cool little breeze or something. It's just out here burning up in the sun. This is just, this is unorthodox. So, something need to be done. Something need to be done immediately. Over here complaining about the heat like I can't just turn on the AC and people out there in Chicago is over here turning into polar bears. I need to stop and be grateful because I'm sure some people would love to live in Florida. So you know what, God, I'm sorry. Beautiful weather. I could, I could clearly go to the beach currently right now if I wanted to. And people over there down to the end of Detroit is freezing their toes off. Let me just thank God and just stop. Because what? I just want to dress up and put a coat on. Oh. Yes. Oh. Y'all gotta be careful. Y'all gotta be looking out for these white vans. Hold on, let me show y'all. This is crazy. Hold on. Look, look, look. Don't that van look like it's still people? Uh uh. Hey, you all. I just wanted to come out here and show y'all what Mulan and her cousin did to my finger. So now it started lifting. But that nail is gone. Like, you see that? 
now I gotta go find a way to delicately take this off so that I don't further injure myself. And I wrote a bad review on 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 Google. And if I could if I could find their business on the white pages, I'ma do it too. She ain't have to do me like that. She did not have to do me like that. <sighs> Boy, pray to God it grows back right. <laughs> 